are here at the Given Women's Forum 2022 at Newman University in Philadelphia. And one of, I think, the best things about the Given Forum is the presence of religious. We have so many different religious sisters here, just present, just here to be a friend, somebody to talk to. It's really stunning as you kind of look around, you have tons of young women, but then almost equal parts religious. One such religious sister is here with us today. Um, so we have the pleasure of meeting her. Sister, would you just introduce yourself and your role here at Given? Yeah, definitely. So my name is Sister Letty Guadalupe, and I have the joy to be a volunteer here. So I just get to be present and meet people and give direction and it's been a real joy. Now sister, how about your order? Can you tell us a little bit about the order sure. you're a part of? We're the community of St. John and we were founded in France by a French Dominican. Um, and so most of our community is in France and we have a couple of homes here in the US and I'm currently serving in East Orange, New Jersey. Wow, so not too far, across the river from us a little bit. Okay, so sister, um, one, have you been to Given before? Okay, what have your impressions been so far? Amazing. So I've had a great time um, because it's such a beautiful encounter with other like-minded women. But not only it's not only the bringing together of gifted women at the same place, same time, but of a pouring out of real feminine love um, between everyone. And that has been really beautiful to see women building each other up rather than competing or tearing each other down and that's been really powerful yeah absolutely that, that's such a temptation for women to want to compete to want to compare and and i love how you just described we're, we're in just this collaborative environment how would you define female leadership or how have you seen it exhibited and then how do you strive to lead as a religious sister and as a woman i think female leadership really has to focus on bringing out a nurturing aspect. I think that's where we're uniquely gifted, where we can help other um, individuals grow through a mature nurturing. You create this space for women to, to be themselves, to come alive, just by your yes and by who you are. And so that's beautiful. So thank you just, just for your presence here. Looking back, do you have any advice that you would have given your 25-year-old self? Yeah, I think, first of all, um, where you are is where God wants you to be. And that's perfect. It's safe to be where you are. That I don't have to keep looking to the future, but being present where is where I will find the Lord and where He's encountering me. Wow. Wow, I need to pray with that, write that down. That was beautiful. Now, one more question. It's a fill in the blank. So. A little tricky, but it's blank. This is my gift. Sympathetic listening and receiving and encouraging. This is my gift. Like allowing my person to be a refuge for others where they can be themselves, whatever that means. And then giving them whatever sort of encouragement they might need for the next step. Thank you for doing that for us in this time, but also the women here. 